So, when do I get to see myself on TV? Um, that would be now. But not every man is cautious. Dwayne Chisholm, 29. Here's a to catch a predator first. This man is here to meet a 14-year-old girl, even though he's been told her parents are home. The plan is for her to slip away when he arrives. He brazenly drives right up to the house and asks the decoy if it's all clear. Very nice. Hey. Good, how are you? I'm glad you can make it. And guess what? My parents went to the movies. Stuck. I swear, they're gone. He's 29-year-old Dwayne Chisholm, a manager at a gym. He's been chatting online with a decoy for two weeks. Calling himself lover man genius, he spells genius incorrectly. He sends the decoy, pretending to be 14, pictures of himself as a bodybuilder. I saw his pictures and I was honestly really scared because he was a bodybuilder. He could probably like grab me with his hand and squeeze the guts out of me. Then he sends her pictures of his genitals. Have you had something that big already? Not that big. I bet you're a really good lover, very slow and soft. <laughs> I just hope you like it. And I hope you like it too. Now, yeah. lover man genius so is getting happens. comfortable in our beach chair. And after only a few minutes of chatting, he wants the decoy to sit on his lap. I'm so glad you came. <laughs> I'm glad too. Yeah. Do you want to come on over? Um, I want to talk a little first. No problem. That's, that's okay cool. with you. No, that's fine. Oh, that wow. was my cue to step in. Hey, how are you? I'm good, I'm good. How What's are you? happening? <laughs> the decoy on, steps huh? away so I can get better acquainted with 29-year-old lover man genius. And the girl you were chatting with online was how old? Uh, as far as I know, 14. 14. What if you had a 14-year-old sister? How would you feel if some guy came over? Not good. You tell her that you want her to masturbate and think of you before she goes to bed. You know, all that's illegal to try to solicit a minor online, right? And then come up and try to have sex with them. What do you think would have happened tonight, Wayne, if this 14-year-old girl was open-minded? I don't know. I mean, I don't know. I wouldn't want to say one thing or the other. So you wouldn't rule out the possibility of you having sex with a girl? I wouldn't force her to do anything that she would or wouldn't want to do. But here's the problem. At 14, she cannot legally give consent. And that's why it's considered, in many places, statutory rape. Well, Dwayne, do you watch much television? A little bit when I have time. You ever watch Dateline NBC? I guess I'm on it right now, right? So you kind of figured out what's going on. <laughs> I mean, you hear about it, and you sit there, and you're like, man, these poor guys, like... These guys are such idiots, and what are these guys thinking? And you know, and you're like, you know, you see some guys that's just like, wow, like these guys are just really, really disturbed. Well, give me a sense of what went on in your mind to make you one of those guys tonight. Just bored and lonely. I mean, here's my thing. I know there's no excuse. You, you get caught up in a rut. You work 70 hours a week. Life is tough. Yeah, but I still don't get the link between working hard and grooming a 14-year-old girl online to the point where you have a face-to-face uh, -face meeting in the hopes of having a sexual liaison. I don't know. Like I said, there's no justification for it. Well, I'm Chris Hansen with Dateline NBC. We're doing a story on adults who meet kids online and then try to meet them for sex in person. Wow. I mean, uh, I'm apologetic for uh, my behavior. While lover man genius continues to apologize, another man shows up. Rolling up, rolling up. Uh-oh. He makes a U-turn, then beeps the horn. Looks over, spots our operation, and takes off. PA plate out of Philadelphia, James Eric Santiel, 29. Frag alerts the police, who send marked cars to pull him over and arrest him. Turns out he's a school bus driver. I appreciate your candor. Back at the house, lover man genius asks an unusual question. So, when do I get to see myself on TV? 
Well, we haven't figured all that out yet. We're still doing the story. I understand. That's part of the process. I understand. I'm going to have a whole lot of people that I know seeing it and like, oh my God, this guy, he helps me out in the gym. And I might have to look for new work. All right. All right. Yeah, I'm all right. But he probably won't be all right for long. His trouble has just begun. All right, easy. Just relax. I'll put you in there. Easy. We're not going to do anything to hurt you. As To Catch a Predator New Jersey continues, 